Hey, Steph, it's Jason with Crown Force Sports. <clears throat> How frustrating uh, is it, you know, when you play a competitive, complete game and it comes down to, you know, a judgment call, handful of rest, probably call that a block, another handful, call it a charge, obviously it's subjective. Um, how frustrating is it to end, you know, just a highly com competitive game that way? It's tough. I mean, we all have our interpretations of the play, and obviously it was close, but we felt like there was some movement before, you know, after Draymond took off and was pretty confident going into the review that we were going to get it over, overturned and then hopefully get a stop and take the win. Uh, it doesn't go our way. Obviously, and that's a tough, tough way to end the game for sure. So, uh, just uh, I don't even know what to say about it, really. Steve was just saying that that you guys kind of need more scoring besides you and and, and maybe creation. Um, where do you think you can get it, and where do you think you need it? So, I mean, I feel like. I got to be aggressive first and foremost. And, you know, when I'm you know, looking for my shot, looking to play made, looking to draw a crowd, whether I have the ball or not, we've gotten a lot better at finding open guy, the ball moving, cutting into open space, not being on top of each other. And it's drastically different than it was at the beginning of the season. And that consistency will continue. Um, we think this rotation starts to, Again, formalize with you know healthy guys back. Hopefully, that'll give a lot of guys just you know unreal confidence when they're out there to make plays and uh, you know be aggressive, look for their shot, and you know create offense. Um, and and that that's that's how we have to approach it with you know the roster that we have and the play the the style that we like to play and. Everybody contributing and having confidence. Like I said, when they're out there on the floor, they know um, they're capable of scoring. They're capable of uh, putting pressure on the defense, and you know we can build build momentum off of that. Steph, you guys had uh, quite a few games that looked like you were going to win in the final, whatever, and, and did pull it out. What would you attribute? The lack of execution too is it just less time together? Is it inexperience? Like, how would you break down what happens in these games? I'm not chalking this one up tonight to quote unquote execution. We had uh, what a four point lead with minutes some change left. You know, Bayes gets an open three in a corner. I get an offensive rebound and miss the layup barely. You get a, another tip. Kicks out to me. I miss a three. Draymond missed a tip. Then Dame comes out and hits a three. Then we go back and you know I get a little runner that sits on the rim for five seconds. Doesn't go in. Obviously Dame makes a shot. So it's tonight was kind of just one of those uh, everything that could have not gone our way did, and you know they made some big shots. Charge play. Obviously, there's been other games where I could really say like we didn't you know legit execute and. Those are learning lessons, and um, you know we can't dwell on it, but we do have to be real with ourselves that we've tricked off some games, and you know that's not a good feeling. But don't linger, you know, on it. Don't dwell on it. Keep moving. We'll be in these situations plenty more times down the stretch of the season, and still have to have confidence that we can win them. Steph, does yeah, it mark you guys? I didn't hear what you said. Was... How important is uh, getting a win tomorrow, um, considering that it's the last one before the All Star break? It's the next game up. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Not to be short, but yeah. Steph, obviously you wanted to get the win out of this this game, but uh, when the games when games are close like that and you're going back and forth with a guy like Dave, how how fun is it in the moment? Competitive basketball is, is great. It's what we live for. Um, you know, minus, the, obviously, the fans, like it's been all year in most arenas, still felt like a playoff-type atmosphere and playoff-type intensity. And we've obviously been in those type of games with, uh, with Portland over the years and, and against Dame and um, 
you know, the surrounding cast. So it's always, it's always fun. It's never fun to lose, but it's, you know, those type of uh, back and forth are what the NBA is about, really. With, with the understanding, obviously, he's a rookie, he's still a teenager. Um, what more do you think you, you can get out of James still, even in this, you know, rookie season? I mean, a lot. I think he has made strides, and the injury really was an unfortunate break in terms of, you know, him not being available, having to deal with rehab and all that. But I think for him, it's just a matter of continuing his confidence that he can provide huge value for us and not to get caught up in, you know, I was talked about a couple weeks ago, like the rookie power rankings or the talk about other guys that were in the top of the draft class. Like everybody is in a different situation. And we we love having him. We know he's, he's valuable out there. He can provide a huge presence and impact on the floor. Um, and not to put too much pressure on himself, really, because I know he wants to be great and he wants to try to figure it out as soon as possible. And he wears his emotions on his sleeves um, when he's out there. But, you know, we've seen those bright spots. And he's going to continue to show that. And you know, at the end of the season, have a body of work that shows he has amazing impact on his team. When we talk about, you know, you guys needing some supplementary scoring, is that where it can come? I mean, obviously he has offensive skill, burst skill point-wise. I mean, it can, but I'll, again, it's not putting too much pressure on him that he has to try to do everything. Um, keeping things simple for him and allowing the offense to create easy buckets for him and, you know, the little things that he can do in terms of setting screens, running hard, blocking shots continue to learn on defense, where to be and positioning and all that, that'll make the game a lot easier for him. And then the bonus is what he can do with his skill and, and that'll continue to develop. But, you know, you don't want him out there feeling like he's got to hit a certain point total and force it. It's just a matter of playing the game the right way, being locked in mentally and good things will happen for him. Steph, you guys have tinkered with that second unit at the start of second and fourth quarters quite a bit. When you're watching from the sidelines, what do you think um, you guys are trying to solve there? What do you think needs improvement with that group? Just consistency and chemistry. And that's, that's, that's tough when you have you know, a lot of new guys and we've had a lot of you know, different rotations and different looks, but um, I think the life of any you know, quote unquote role player, bench guy, a guy that knows you're going to play, you know, a certain amount of minutes and you want to be impactful out there. It's about consistency and, and confidence and chemistry with the guys that you're out there and out there with. Um, and that, that comes over time. Uh, tonight, I think they were, they were, they were really solid, uh, creating good looks, playing good defense. Um, and we want to keep plugging away at that and, and they'll figure it out. Stephen, you guys had a high energy level going into the game. I mean, early in the game, you guys were running all over the place. You had a big lead. And it didn't seem like the entire game, both teams, it looked like you guys were kind of struggling, almost running uphill, hard to get offense, hard to get a rhythm for either team. I'm just wondering, did you sense that? And what kind of feel was that over the last three quarters where both teams were just trying to catch a rhythm and neither one ever really did for a long time? I think both teams are playing pretty hard. And it's sometimes playing hard and the intensity doesn't quite show to your point around. It's not like pretty basketball by any stretch and certain defensive strategies you send a lot of bodies all over the place. It's kind of disjointed, but the intensity was there the whole game and it was a fun atmosphere and a fun kind of you know, battle. So um, I mean, look at the film, see what it looked like, but on the court, it just seemed like there was to you, like, yeah, never, no team could really separate, but the intensity was there. Steph, to follow up on uh, the offensive stuff, uh, it's obviously been a few years since you were on a team that didn't have guys that could uh, roll out of bed and drop 25 when they wanted to. When you've been on teams that have guys around you who are struggling to find their rhythm offensively, what, what, do you, what, can, what else can you do? What else can you say to get them going? Keep playing basketball the right way and... Um, 
keep the vibes in the locker room and, and you know, trying to instill confidence and, and keep hammering home the fact that uh, we have plenty of talented NBA players that, you know, deserve to be here, deserve the opportunity, have a lot to show and prove on the court. Um, and not to get caught up in the kind of mood swings of a season. It's, it's hard to do, and everybody wants to be great, and everybody wants to outperform. Um, that's the league. The league works in mysterious ways, if you will. Uh, just got to continue to plug away and not uh, let's not get caught up in all that. Like, we, we, we're we moving in the right direction. I think guys are starting to figure it out. And we got a second half of the season to uh, to show it. Hey, Steph. I, All right. Okay. okay. Last question. question. Second Go, ahead. Go ahead. Last question. Oh, I didn't see anybody ask you about this uh, yesterday. Um, just the decision to, to compete in the three-point contest. And I've I seen you work out before. You move pretty fast when you shoot and practice. Do you have to change anything different just to prepare for it? No, I just honestly – when the lights are on, I just enjoy the experience, and obviously it helps that it's right before the game. So uh, I'm already going to be there and shoot some threes, get warmed up, hopefully win, and enjoy the enjoy the game. This it's still competitive. You're the guy to beat. Do you like that kind of energy and, and not to say pressure, but do you like that feeling? Yeah, 